Well, the schools across the state face massive funding cuts over the next two years. An Austin lawmaker has a plan to tap into a fund long considered off limits by the majority of the legislature. This move could mean districts could face about half as many cuts. And KXAN political reporter Josh Hinkle joins us live at the Capitol. Josh, why are members considering using the rainy day fund now when they said no for so long? Well, you know, Robert, the Republicans have long been against using the rainy day fund because they say it needs to be saved for the future. But now we're possibly looking at more money coming into that fund, which would mean schools might be able to bring their cuts down from $4 billion to about $2 billion. Please listen for just a moment and see if this is something that you could consider. Now, Representative Donna Howard, an Austin Democrat, came up with the idea. She's suggesting if more money comes into the rainy day fund over the next two years than originally projected, it would give schools about $2.2 billion. Some of the state's top officials say based on the way revenue could come in, that extra money is very likely. The plan got preliminary approval in the House today, but it needs a two-thirds vote for final passage. So far, she's close to getting that, and Howard is now spending her time talking the plan up to both sides of the aisle. Got some good feedback from people that this was actually, as I said, addressing their concerns, but also protecting their concerns. Now, this plan could come up for a final vote as early as tomorrow, but then it has to go on to a conference committee where it will also need that lofty two-thirds vote once again. Right now, they're in there uh, debating the school finance bill. That's the one to usher in the $4 billion in cuts to schools over the next two years statewide, but this is all contingent on if Howard's plan passes, which would actually slash that number in half. For now, we're live at the state capitol. Josh Hinkle, KXAN Austin News.